The LU600 fuel unit actually is a portable encoder that supports 1080 and 4K Vita qualities. This little guy can actually bunt up to 12 different IP connections between cellular, Wi-Fi, and even LAN. So, their focus is providing excellent video performance with high extreme bandwidth efficiency. The initial use case is to have a camera plugged into this and send the footage directly into a server. The rest of the details, you can find them on their website, which I actually added the links in the description below. So this video is just to share my first impressions on using this particular tool, which is not cheap. But to be fair, pricing aside, as soon as you get the opportunity to know more about this tool, you definitely fall in love. My use case is somewhat different. I've been fiddling with providing streaming solution services to small and medium companies, from funerals to weddings and even sport events. And some locations don't have internet or they are too remote to handle. Here's where an encoder like this helps a ton. I mean, there are multiple competitors out there like the Turdeck Video or the KiloView or even the Yolo Box. Oh, and you can also connect an A10 Mini with your phone. I think it has to be an iPhone. I don't really remember. We would have to test that out afterwards. But you can actually have a tether connection from your phone into the A10 Mini and you can literally stream portable as well. Kind of. You know what I mean. The cool thing about the LU600 is that it provides bonding. Bonding is, well, as the name states, bonds together something. In this particular scenario, it bonds multiple connections into one major stream. For example, right, you can have a Wi-Fi, LAN, and cellular, all three connections, and you can bond them all together to set one main connection. This is much more reliable than actually using a failover solution because, well, you don't lose the main connection. So let's say you have an Ethernet cable that got disconnected and for some weird reason, your Wi-Fi is not working anymore. Since you also have a cellular connection within the bonded connection, well, you don't really lose any connectivity. The main connection will remain and you won't interrupt your live stream. The LU600 supports up to eight cellular simultaneous connections. That's eight SIM cards. Yes. Eight modems with LTE connections, which is actually the method that I've been using for sport events. And it works pretty well. This one has a little screen in the front, which gives you a general data of your stream and device details with bandwidth info, bitrate, audio, and even video input preview. Since I need to add graphics and other special effects in my stream, I output an OBS monitor into the LU600, and that's it. And then in my case, I send audio through the HDMI connection from OBS, and then I just go to my sources and select monitor and output. That works for me. So a few cool things. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this bag is pretty cool. I wish all their products were in this bag because you can just, you know, put on this backpack and that's it. And then you have your camera. Uh, but for me, right, uh, it will vary depending on what you're using. If you're using a live view solo, then it's a smaller device, it's a smaller bag, and it doesn't look as cool as this. So as I mentioned before, the LU600 is this particular device. It has power connection, so you can plug it in to an outlet, but it also has a battery that can last about four hours for a stream. Uh, besides that, it has the HDMI, and I'm gonna probably get this a little bit closer. So it has an HDMI, I don't know if the autofocus is gonna work there, but it has an HDMI input, it also has an SEI input and a 3.5 millimeter jack. It also has a mini HDMI connection, so you can output to something else. So we're gonna go ahead and open uh, this real quick just to show you the insides of it. So if I pop this open, you would see that it has a couple of cards up here, and these cards are actually the modems. So this one handles uh, up to eight different um, solar modems. So on all these guys, you actually have um, the little slot to put in the SIM cards. So you have, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. And then it has the different diagrams of where you put each single card. And they are all numbered, so that's a total of eight different modems. Again, that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's a total of eight different um, modems. But then it also supports Wi-Fi. So if there's any Wi-Fi connection around, you can connect to that one as well. And it also has on the back two NIC ports or two Ethernet ports so that you can connect an Ethernet cable there. So as you can see in the screen, you have multiple things. And by the way, this is a touch LCD screen. So the first thing you can notice is that it says camera not connected. As I mentioned before, when, I, when we started talking about this, is that the intention of using this particular tool is that you would connect a camera and then you would send the feed from that camera through the LU600 to a server. Actually, um, LiveView has other tools like a server, which is used for Remy or remote productions. And those will allow you to get all the different feeds from all these different encoders to be able to handle them and switch them from the production center. So you can also see that in the upper section, you have the power button. You also have for the settings, the battery, and it also shows you which are the active connections. In this case, you have a total of four connections active. And then you also have the option to either go live or recording. And you have a start button, which will start the stream to whatever destination you have set up. You can also have use this for intercom connection. So you would have a you would have a headset connected to the jack 3.5 millimeter uh, connector or port, so that you can send your message through that. You can also have a virtual uh, return. So by using the HDMI out, the mini HDMI out that I mentioned, you can actually have another. Uh, monitor or small monitor where you can see what is being returned. So after using this LU600, I am definitely getting a Live View Solo. Now, Live View Solo is actually the entry level to the Live View products. Who knows? Maybe I'll start playing around with different ideas on streaming. Maybe I'll do an IRL Twitch stream or an on the go stream on YouTube. Also, let me know in the comments below if you like more videos like this. And if you like this video, make sure to click on the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to click on the notification bell to be notified whenever I release a brand new video. Now, for more streaming tips, you can go ahead and check the video up here. And for any other videos that are suggested by YouTube to this channel, then go ahead and check the videos here. This is Edio4. See you on the next one.